Hello, brothers and sisters. Greetings to you all. I'm here in the farm where African people produce seeds and seedling. Of course, uh, these people are producing organic foods, organic seeds, and um, uh, I'm just trying to learn and to see how uh, we, the people of Africa, we can produce our own uh, seeds, we can produce our own seedlings. Of course, at the end of the day, uh, how we can feed our people. We realized a lot of things that Africans, uh, we don't need to import seeds, we don't need to import foods. We have a lot of potentials, but all in all, still Africa, we are importing foods, we're importing seeds. And recently you heard that uh, uh, Bill Gates uh, said that Africans need genetically modified seeds and chicken to fight climate change. So, Bill Gates has insisted that Africa needs genetically modified seeds and chickens to fight climate change and anger. So, but if you go many places in Africa, you see that the people of Africa can produce their own seeds and can produce their own foods. And I see also people of Africa trying to work hard to protect the environment, but at the recent head Africa uh, climate summit in the Kenyan capital Nairobi, uh, Bill Gates remarked in a pre-recorded speech by saying that I started work on climate over two decades ago after I left my full-time work at Microsoft. I was focusing on fighting poverty and disease diseases. When I visited Africa, I see two things. First, uh, was how climate is already affecting agricultural output. He noted that how the continent is depending on farming and uh, given uh, Africa's location near the equator, uh, said the continent is already experiencing a more uh, climatic change damages than other countries. Those are according to uh, Bill Gates that uh, for Africa to fight against the hunger and uh, climatic uh, change damage, Africa needs to use uh, GMO foods and uh, GMO or genetically modified seeds and chickens. That is according to Bill Gates. But I have done some researches that there are some parts in this continent where uh, those GMO food cannot work because already Africa has uh, organic seeds, has uh, this kind of product like this avocado that are grow in a fertile and horrible land. And I have done my own research by reaching in this area to see how the people are preparing farms, how they do the activities. So they, how they get uh, the final product, the, the crops. So I found that uh, in many area in Africa, I forget about those who are in the desert, uh, food can be grown without using any fertilizers. Uh, if you have manure or you go to the horrible land, you can cultivate and produce uh, enough food to feed the entire continent. There are some challenges that are affecting Africans, but it is uh, not much as climate change. You know, Africa, we are affected much by wars, conflicts, and of course we know climate change is there but look for the for instance those who are living in congo democratic republic you can see congo is the richest uh, country uh, the country with horrible land congo has a big river like river congo where the people can uh, conduct irrigation agriculture but the problem is stability in that area so the, sometimes we can say uh, we have climatic changes we cannot produce enough food to feed uh, our people but there are some other factors that are affecting much than this climate change. The way the people are affected by the war in Congo, people are affected by 
uh, conflict in some areas, and especially those areas that uh, the many producers of foods, for instance, Congo, you see, uh, if you go to uh, in Sahel region, you find the, the, the conflict there. If you go to uh, northern Mozambique in Sudan, so you can see in Somalia, those are the areas that are, and recently you see what happened in Ethiopia, in the Tigray region, and we know Ethiopia is a good producer of wits so you can uh see yourself uh that sometimes yes uh, these solutions that have been brought by Bill Gates maybe can work, but I don't think that that is the only solution for Africa to fight against the, uh hunger and uh, uh climate change. But all in all, we need with the people of Africa to come together to see how we can feed our people. We have seen a young leader of uh, Burkina Faso, uh, Ibrahim Traore, uh, visited uh, local farmers, encouraging them to produce more in African traditional ways. And that is what Africa needs. So, brothers and sisters, let us work together. Let us unite and uh, fight against hunger in this continent and making sure that we, the people of Africa, we can feed ourselves. So that is the business. And of course, I know that is the business. And But all in all, let us make sure that we, the people of Africa, so with those few words, let me say thank you for your time. Please leave your comment and uh, share your views, your thoughts on this, that Africa we will think that we can fight hunger and climate change by using genetically modified seeds and chickens. Over to you, brothers and sisters. Thank you.